last night. I served what is possibly the easiest meal for my children to eat. Plain pasta, literally plain pasta. That's all we put on it with raw green beans on the side. Just those, you know, stringy green beans. Easiest meal, right? We had swim practice and needed to eat you know, within 20, 30 minutes. Something that in my mind should be totally reasonable to ask of my children. I mean, totally reasonable. Yeah, okay. So this is how dinner went. They started with putting the green beans in their mouth and acting as if they were braces. Oh, look at my braces. Oh, look, I got green braces. I got green teeth. Mm -hmm. Not eating them, spitting them out, putting them back in. My five-year-old then decided to throw pasta across the table. I, of course, got mad, put them in timeout, brought them back to the table, I'm desperate for them to eat. I mean, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know why, but I'm so desperate for them to eat because if they don't, they're so miserable. I mean, they're so miserable. And here I have paid for swim lessons. I don't want to take them to swim lessons on an empty belly and have an instructor deal with them with low blood sugar. I mean, that's not fair. But then on the flip side, I don't want to say, well, we're not going to swim lessons if you don't eat because really they don't want to go to swim lessons. I'm just kind of making them because so much of the world is covered in water and it's time for them to learn how to swim. So here I am projecting all of my like extremes onto them. And I had just said to myself about a week ago that I'm going to start letting them fail. Like I'm going to start, like I got to just get in this mode where I'm gonna start letting them fail. I'm gonna start basically being like, okay, well, if they don't eat, they don't eat. They can feel what it's like to be hungry, but I'm not feeding them anything else. I'm definitely not feeling them else. Like they don't get snacks. I'm gonna just stay hard to my rule. If they don't eat their dinner, they don't get a snack after swim lesson. No, you didn't choose to eat your dinner. Or you can go back to the table and eat your cold pasta and green beans that have already been shoved into your mouth and spit out with your saliva and gunk all over it. That's what you can eat if you don't eat your dinner. That's what I say I'm gonna do, right? A week ago, I was like, I'm gonna start letting my kids fail. I'm gonna start letting them, like on the way, breakfast. If they don't eat their breakfast, you know what? They're gonna be hungry all day. I'm not packing you a snack, you don't get a snack. You don't get to eat again until lunch. Well, up, I, my, my five-year-old just told me to shut up. He's, he's pooping on the potty, listening to me. Um, so anyways, that's what I said I was gonna do, right? I didn't do it. I didn't stick to my guns. You know what I did? I went back to my usual where I threaten or bribe. First I thought in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'll bribe them with ice cream. It's swim lessons. Sometimes we go get ice cream afterwards. I'll bribe them with swim lessons. I'll say, if you don't finish your dinner, you're not gonna get ice cream after swim lessons. Well, no, in my mind I was like, you know what? Their behavior stinks. I'm not treating them to ice cream after swim lessons with this behavior. So I go back to my other go-to move, threats. I said, basically, he said, you know what, guys? Dad usually meets us after swim lessons and they all swim together and it's super fun. I said, you know what? We're not gonna swim after swim lessons with Dad. We're, I'm gonna call him and tell him that you guys can't swim after swim lessons because you didn't finish your dinner and you'll be hungry and cranky and he shouldn't bother coming home from work to swim with you like that. Of course, that leads to tears, that leads to and finally, them eating. But I don't think it leads to them eating consistently. I've got to just start letting them fail. I'm just so obsessed with Shut them. I'm, I, I just, I love them so much that I want them to eat so they can be happy. Food Shut leads to happiness. But I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta just, I gotta let them just be like, okay, you know what, you don't eat, no problem. But we're not wasting this food. It's gonna come back out at the next meal time and you're not getting snacks. I gotta do that. I, I gotta just, I gotta be strong. Here's the trying.